Yeah. Now I know why Holly and Tony asked me to be an MC. I'm a retired veterinarian and I think they figured I could herd cats. to our lives and we thank you for that. You made parenting easy. From the time you were born, you had a sunny disposition. You were a content baby, a nurturing and doting big sister to Hillary and a trouble-free teenager. You value family, friendship, as well as academics and hard work. Throughout your 28 years, you have been, you have been, sorry, Throughout your 28 years, there have been two passions that stand out. Your love of horses, which was not just a phase, as Dad told everyone. <laughs> uh, your commitment and dedication was never a chore. You enjoyed the dirty work, cleaning stalls, and tack as much as you enjoyed riding. You took great pride in preparing for horse shows and the early mornings to hurry up and wait. Your other passion was spending time at the cabin in Maple Beach. You spent every summer there. Nope. You spent every summer there from Bingo to Repeat that line, you gotta repeat that one. You spent every summer there from, B from Bingo to Beer Olympics. <laughs> you built solid friendships and it, provide it also provided you the much needed downtime. Um, both have filled your life with great memories. We are very excited. Oh, sorry. I have to go with this. I added this in. Katie said, do it. <laughs> Grandma Mildred was a big influence in Holly's life. She had an incredible memory for facts and events. And I'm sure she would have had this to say to Holly. On this rainy day, she would have had a positive thing to say. I found this quote and I want to share it with you. It's called Unity. Rain on your wedding day is good luck because it signifies that your marriage will last. As you know and not, that becomes wet is extremely hard to untie. Therefore, when you tie the knot on a rainy day, your marriage is supposedly just as hard to unravel. Aww. We are very excited for you and Tony as you build your future and look forward to a lifetime of adventure, travel, gardening, woodworking, and many other projects that you conquer together. I'd like to welcome Tony to into our family. You'll fit in well with our walker treats. Thanks for making Holly so happy. Finally, uh, toasting the bride and groom. <laughs> Thank you. I said I'm not going to 
Volkswagen. Oh, okay. Sit down, Tony. You're going to have a toast to the ride. Oh, really? Wow. Oh, good. I'm only taking two years. It was a rush. <laughs> And that was for your daughter? That's my wife's car. Oh. That will eventually be Amelia's car. Oh, yeah. My daughter has a name. Oh, what's your name? It's Tony. Yeah. Yeah, we all have names. So, over the last hour, I've been very self conscious about how much I talk. Um, but when it comes to Holly, I won't have to stop talking to all of you about how much I love her. So, I'm still going to read this whole thing. <laughs> Bear with me. You put the timer on. I would like to give you sorry, all the sense of the woman I fell in love with by jumping back to her beginning. When we first met, for lack of a better word, I was in the not looking for a wife era of my dating career. Uh, and with that, I came to the conclusion that it probably wasn't the best idea to get involved with one of Kenny's best friends. You know, just in case anything went south. I believe I even called Graham up, who on countless times has been a voice of reason for me, and he said, you know, dating a mutual friend could get um, messy. <laughs> uh, so, but, and logistically, Graham was like, maybe this is the best idea. But uh, after only one or two dates, logistics went all to hell. <laughs> there was just something magnetic about our connection, and uh, it was undeniable for me. Of course, it also didn't hurt that Holly isn't afraid to go for what she wants, as most people here who know her know that. <laughs> I do remember after one of her earlier dates, I was uh, walking her to a car, ready to say goodbye to her, and uh, she looks at me, closes her eyes, and puckers her lips from like free feeling. <laughs> and like, I was even in shouting distance for like this. It was just so damn cute that uh, my whole fan plan fell apart right there and we had our first kiss. In hindsight, I've never been more glad that something didn't go as planned. And for me, that's a big thing. Because <laughs> the following three years have been the most fun I've ever had in my entire life. Uh, I've loved every moment we spent together. I love our Monopoly deal games on the ferry. <laughs> I love our late nights hanging out at the hospital on call. And uh, I love our beach walks down to the point and chats on the seawall. Um, honestly, whether we're exploring the, the plains in Africa or the aisles of the grocery store, uh, through these three years it's dawned on me countless times that uh, this is it. This is where I want to be from now until forever. <laughs> I love you, my wife, and I cannot find out, I cannot wait to find out what our love will create. Here today to celebrate with us. 
it honestly means just so much to us that we have so many close friends and family who are happy, so happy for all of that. And we're just so grateful for each and every one of you and to have you guys in our lives. But I'd like also to thank Gord, our MC. Honestly, as you guys can tell, both Carm's kids are on our head table here for a reason. And uh, honestly, it's one of those things. I haven't wrote anything down here, but when I think of the Carnes, I definitely think of caring, welcoming, and just absolutely wonderful people. And both their parents hold up to that. So thank you so much for having me. And thank you to the beautiful team. Thank We'd also like to thank all the friends and family who played a part in making today happen. There were countless people that did so many things that that's why we're all here. <laughs> Uh, LJ and Mandy, thank you for always welcoming me into your family with open arms right from the beginning. I can see where Tony gets his thoughtfulness, generosity, good looks, and smarts from. I won't say from him. But seriously, I'm so lucky to be marrying your amazing son, and even more fortunate that he comes with such an amazing family. Finally, I would just like to also give a special thanks to Holly's parents, Brett and Marsha. I really don't understand the uh, whole in-law complex some people have, because I don't dread hanging out with you guys at all. And you can probably tell from how much time I spend at your house. Uh, just, yeah, I imagine you guys want to get rid of me sometimes, but I seem to stick. Um, although, like a lot of things in life, maybe you just got to give that some time. <laughs> maybe they'll come. Uh, of course, I'm joking. <laughs> From our chats down in the cabin, building stuff in the shop with Brett, or um, whooping your butts at Monopoly Deal. <laughs> I can honestly say I feel right at home every time I hang out with you guys, and uh, from very early on, you felt just like family to me. And I'm uh, sincerely glad we were able to make that official today. <laughs> So that concludes our speeches, and um, the uh, ice cream is going to be arriving, I understand, and I'm supposed to say that everyone's supposed to go to the other side, over to the cider house, for the dances and um, the ice cream later on. <laughs> <laughs>